hey guys welcome back to another diy it's been a while since i made a video and today i'm going to be showing you how i made this beautiful flower centerpiece with items all items from the dollar tree and yeah i hope you guys enjoy it it's great for valentine's and it was so affordable and so easy so if you guys are wondering how i made it keep watching okay so we need this round container they can get in the valentine's section of the dollar tree you're also going to need two of these square foams. You're going to need red ribbon or whatever color you want to go for. You're also going to need roses from the Dollar Tree. I went with red. But you can get any other color like I said. And also this black poster board. Also from the Dollar Tree. It was like 50 cents. And then your basic DIY tools. Um, a pen your wire cutters, scissors, and of course your hot glue gun. So let's get started. Okay, so you're gonna start off by tracing with your pen um, the bottom of the container, and then you're also gonna do the same thing for the top of the round container. Just don't cut the poster in a straight rectangle because then when you fold it, it's not gonna be enough. So you have to do it like this. I try to show it as much as I could, um, but cut it like how I did it in the beginning. So then when you fold it, um, the whole container is covered. Go ahead and just start hot gluing it all around the container. What I did is I got one of the foam squares and I cut them in half and I just put them inside the round container. And then I got the other um, square of foam and I cut two um, small pieces and I just put those pieces next to um, on each side. So the whole inside is covered. And then I went ahead and I put ribbon. I totally didn't notice that the ribbon that I got was sheer. So I did have to put like five layers of ribbon for it to look dark red. So make sure that when you get the ribbon, it is not sheer. So once you cut all your flowers, you're going to go ahead and you're going to put them inside. And instead of putting them randomly, what I like to do is I like to go like in a circular motion. So I like to start at the end and then work myself towards the middle. This part is optional, but I did go online and I got this little sign and it looks so cute. It just makes it look a little bit more elegant and more classy. Um, and I just put it right in the middle. Like I said, this part is optional. You can always leave it how it was, but um, you can always add this little sign and it just makes it look a little bit more fancy. <laughs> I also decided to put a diamond wrap all around the edge of the little sign that I posted so it could look a little bit more um, glam. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Like always, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!